it's Laura Rivera here for you. I have, um, it, it's a question that I get asked a lot, uh, either at open houses or if I'm at the gym, I get approached with this question from people that maybe they're thinking, gosh, I mean, I'm renting and I'm paying all this money and this person is just uh, keep on raising the rent and um, I would like to own a house, but I don't know if I can qualify. I know that there are a lot of programs uh, out there that maybe there's zero down payment or, or like an FHA is a 3.5%, uh, but really what does it take uh, to have um, that kind of program where you actually don't put any money down to buy a house? So let's ask the expert, <laughs> Jeff Scott. With Hi everyone. Great. So let's ask, so uh, what's it take? A lot of different programs. I mean, the, if you're a veteran, that's the perfect one because uh, VA loans are zero money down. Uh, you still have some closing costs, but the seller can help you with those. However, if you're not a veteran, probably the, the most popular of the down payment assistance programs is CalHAFA. That's the California Housing Finance Authority. And CalHAFA has programs that will help you with down payment, help you with closing costs. You can literally get in with zero down. Now, they do fund the programs by raising the interest rate on the loan. So you are going to have a higher monthly payment, mm -hmm. but if that's the, the way for you to get in the door of home ownership, owning something is far better than sitting on the sidelines and trying to you know save the money over a two, three year period of time while prices continue to rise. Or exactly, waiting until the houses keep on going up, or the rates, which right now we know the interest rates are pretty low, still staying kind of there. So it's a, we need to take advantage of that. Right, Rate, rates are great. Uh, you know, rates we are in the mid four, mid threes to, to low fours, just depending upon the program and, and credit scores. And you know, having Laura shared in a previous video that I've been in the business for 35 years, when I started in the business, rates were 13 percent. So you know, when I hear somebody say four and a half is really high, I we go. We did. We bought at eight percent. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you have no idea. So um, rates are fantastic. And the bottom line is, is you don't know what you don't know. And so getting the pre-approval done solves your, your question as far as what are my credit scores and you know identifies for you what your monthly payment's gonna be. And that is something that you actually need to decide. What are your monthly payments are okay for you? Which ones are okay for you? So you need to determine that. This is what I wanna pay or I can afford and not um, actually, uh, just getting into a house and then you end up being ah, stressed out with the house, um, just that's, that's not going to be any fun. So Exactly. It, we will generally qualify you because even though people say that it's really hard to qualify for a home, 99% mm -hmm. of the time we qualify a borrower for more than what they feel comfortable with. Yes. And so it's my job to tell you what your maximum is. It's your job to take that number and say, hey, that's great but I'm comfortable at 2,500 or 3,500 or whatever that number is on a monthly basis. And I'm gonna help you find the house. <laughs> so here we are again. So Jeff Scott and Laura Rivera, take care. Keep in touch if you have any questions, you wanna know about any other topics, we are happy to, to do them for you and answer all your questions. Until the next one, thank Very you. Very good, thank you. Bye.